Welcome to our first lesson of on Excel. Hopefully you have this file open in front of you. If not, it is downloadable in the link description below. And there you should see something like this when you first open this one up on Excel. Just a little bit of kind of what things look like when you first open up Excel. You kind of have these different boxes on your spreadsheet. There are two tabs, and here is the example primary data that I have. And on another tab, we have the fin finished product. And yes, don't worry, we, we will get we will get here. I know it looks very messy and complicated right now, but let we start off just with our primary data. Again, I just want to reiterate the fact that true, this file is available to you, but at the same time you want to try to walk through all the videos with me. So you have this in front of you. As I'm showing you something, you can pause, replay the video as many times as you want. Try the skills out yourself. Don't just watch me. Do it yourself so that next time when you have to cre create your own Excel file, you have some skills developed for that because not this template here is not going to work for every single lab that we do this year okay so make sure you try this and again because it's a video you can pause replay as many times as you want but try this out which is why the file is available for you in this episode i'm just going to cover the basics of navigating uh, navigating excel looking at what's available a lot of formatting how to enter data so really the basics Number one is gonna we're gonna talk about entering data or entering things into our cells. When I talk about cells, I'm talking about these little boxes. And the cool thing about these cells is that they have a reference and value to it. Notice the top we have all of these column letters, and on the rows, on these rows over here, every row has a number label. Every cell has is underneath a particular column and is by a particular row. So if I take a look at this cell in particular, this is underneath column I and in row four. So this cell has a number, has a identifier. The identifier is I4. This concept is going to come back again when we look at how to enter functions. So this is a something just to keep in mind. When you enter a value into a cell, you first you want to click on the cell. Here is the data that we have for our pendulum lab, are the lengths that I've tried as well as every length. I've done three trials per each, therefore time one, time two, and time three. And probably we're going to need the average of three of these times. So I'm going to put in T average or T in bracket AV for short. And there's not a lot of space. When you are publishing or you are reporting out your data, your data tables, make sure all of your columns have a, make sure all of your column names have units beside them. This is, I don't have them here for the sake of just playing around with Excel. Okay, so I put in the T average here and notice one other thing. As I'm writing the T average, this little box at the top is displaying what you've written down. Which means if you want to delete certain things, let's say I want to go back and delete AV, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse over the AV. I can click on this. I can select it. I can delete it instead of having to play around with the cell. So I can definitely click in here and do whatever I want. Okay, so that's how you input something into a cell. Number two. Number two, I want to show you how to, say, format a particular cell to make it look, to differentiate it from the rest. So if you take a look at these cells, these columns, it's very hard to see everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code all of my columns to make it easier for the, for the eye. Of course, when you're doing yourself, you don't have to do that. But I'm just showing you just to 
just to show you what Excel is capable of doing. So for example, for length, I'm going to, because length is going to be my Y value, uh, actually, sorry, my X values on my graph. So I'm going to use this column quite a bit. I'm going to give it a darker color. So probably, and what I'll do is what I, what I've clicked is I'm clicking on this little fill button. This little fill bucket allows me to fill that cell with a particular color. I'm going to fill this up with a darker shade of green like this. Okay, so that I know I can see this column clearly. These trials are not going to be so important in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a, a faint gray color. Maybe this one here. And last but not least, this column over here, I'm going to make this gray, but a little grayer because it's got a little bit, it's talking about the average, which I'll probably use this column again. Okay, so here is kind of how you can format your cells by using some of these basic functions that are available in the Home tab, okay? And of course, there's so many over here. And again, don't limit yourself to my videos. Feel free to watch other videos how to play around with Excel. I'm just showing you the core backbone basics that we need for our labs that we do. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is I want to show you how to align your uh, align your data values. So for example, here I have all of these numbers. They're aligned to the left side. I don't like that. I want to align them to the right side. If I want to align them to the right side, what I can do is see this little box over here. In this little box over here, you can see where you can align your data relative to your cell. So I'm going to, I want to align these guys to the right side. So I'm going to click on the right align, oh, sorry, align to the left side, my bad. Align to the left. So here allows me to align to the left and I'll put them vertically in the middle. So for this little thing up here, not much change. Okay, that's fine. So notice that they've been realigned. Okay, the next and fourth and last most thing I want to show you is how to format your cells to display certain significant figures. So in this column here with length, notice that your length will be able to read up to four decimal places because this is measured in meters. So how do I change how many significant figures that my cell can can display. If I have something like 0 0.100, let's say I put that one into a cell, I want Excel to display this many significant figures. Notice that Excel won't do that. How to display all of those zeros? We first select all of the cells that we want to modify. We right click and in this Dropbox menu, go all the way down to Format Cells. And in this little box here, you can do any, there's many things you can do with that cell, format it however you like, but I'm going to go to Number. And as for number, I want to change the number of decimal places. Two instead of two, I'm going to increase it up to four. That's the example that you would see. And I'm going to click OK, and voila, here you go. I've displayed my data values with four decimal places. Some of them have four significant figures, some of them have five. For time, I want to also display time to two decimal places because that's what's displayed on my reading instrument. Again, I highlight the cells as I've done, and I right click, I go down to Format Cells, and I'm going to click on Number. I want two decimal places. This is already good. And I click OK. And here we have it. We have all of our numbers displayed to two decimal places. Now I've kind of set up my data table to work forward. So recap, what we've done is I've shown you how to put something into the cell. I've shown you how to color code your cells or some basic formatting. 
as well as aligning. Number three was aligning your data to either side of your column. And last but not least, we were formatting your cells to show the right number of significant figures. In the next episode, we're going to look at how to enter functions in Excel, which is helping us to calculate average time, taking, finding the average time, and doing some other basic calculations. Hope this video helped. And I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye now.